when you get to the standard here, balance up. Put your eye on the jump. Now I would say, come, come you ride to me for a minute. Just gallop to me, yeah? Gallop and then hold. No, gallop and then hold here. You open and then down. I would say you had a very easy job to loosen up into the five there. When your feeling in the air is like that and he has momentum and he lands with well, momentum, just loosen up in a direct line for the five, he'll be right there for you. Does that cost you time? That ad wasn't necessary in, in the jump off. Yes, but we're practicing just stick with the practice for the moment. Uh, for the moment, I want your instincts to be right in the ring. That five was cake. It was a piece of cake. With that kind of jump and that kind of momentum, I want you to play the track. Open the rain, go direct it, so walk in the park. You'll get there the same in the five. Yeah? Next. Gallop. I know what you're saying, but I'm, uh, but, you're underestimating how easy that five is. Gallop here, balance up here. Well, you've got to work it out early in the line. Gallop to me. Gallop to me, gallop to me. Gallop. Gallop. That's fast, gallop. Now, walk. Good. So you have to work it out early in the line. You knew in the air you were dead. That's automatic hold and out in six. That's a course designer trap. That's not a, that's not a normal distance. It's technical. So that's why I built the technical, so you have to work. Land, you feel your horse dead. Hold and out in the track. His horse, he landed beautiful. Right rein and up in the track. You have two choices, but you want to work it out here, not one stride away. Yes? Again, next. Go back and gallop. That's part of the exercise, the gallop. Go ahead, gallop up, up with the motion. Yes, that's it. A little more. When you get to me, you balance up. Ooh, put your eye on the jump. See that five is a walk in the park. When you have momentum, you get a great jump here. The five is cake. Gallop. jump this way, it's very difficult to get five. You have to be straight. You can round this turnout straight, that's part of the artistic ride of this 
is you plan your round three, you can get the five. If you land out there, you're almost, unless you have a very big step where you get a very big jump, it's more difficult. So try to make a rounder turn for three, and then you just open the rein if you want five and step up. Or you can choose the bend. This way you close, you know, this is more difficult. All right, once more. Gallop a little nicely. Open up a little. Now balance up. Whoa. Whoa. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. We all done it? If you're next in line, sort of be walking your horse. Don't be standing there, all right? Be walking if you're next. Gallop. No, go back. Go back and gallop. Go back. What? One second. Balance up. You gotta balance. That's no good. Stop, 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 stop. Go back again. First, balance up. Balance up. Shape your track. Hey, boys, this is not easy. You think I come here to practice easy stuff with you? This is not easy. Gallop. Pull that horse together here. Collect the canter here. Shape the turn. Be accurate. Collect him. Collect him. Is that the horse that drifts uh, as a drift? I'm confused which horse had a drift. No, another horse, huh? I need a marker. I need something to. A little Pass marker. It. Mm -hmm. He drifts left. Right. And what did you say about the turn when what happens? That's something we have to take care of over little jumps tomorrow. Uh, there's nothing we can do today to fix that. So tomorrow, in the beginning of the session, will you tell me that? And let me sit on them and feel what you're feeling. And we'll correct that over little jumps or, or little cavalettis uh, to some degree. I'll, I'll get a feel of what he's doing, but uh, I can't fix that right now in the middle of this. I need a little marker. Anything, a little mar a bush, a bush, uh, a standard, anything. I want to put a marker down. 